In this movie, I'll show you how you can create the toggle effect with your tab buttons. In order to show you what I mean, let's preview the file real quick just to try out the buttons. So preview your file by pressing Control F12 or by coming up here to preview, preview the slide. And here's what it looks like. Looks pretty good. I can see that as I hover over each of my tabs, I get the uh, hover state. If I click one of the tabs, there's my selected state to indicate that this is the currently active tab. Same thing here, same thing here. Now, what's wrong with this, right? Well, we can't have three selected tabs. I guess we could, but that's not what we want. As I click each one again, it's no longer selected. So what instead I should see, what I want to see is only one of these tabs showing the selected state, not each tab that I uh, click. Now, Storyline actually makes this really easy. Let me show you what this looks like. So click Close Preview. So to create the toggle effect, we need to use what's called, or what Storyline calls, button sets. And this is really great. So select each of the tabs, and you can do that by shift-clicking each tab. So you have all three of those selected. And then right-click, and then choose Button Set, Button Set 1. Now, nothing visibly is going to change on the slide. Everything looks the same. However, if we preview our slide, so press Control F12, take a look at what happens now. Select one, click another button, click another. Notice how only one of these is showing our selected state at one time. So there we go. It's a really great way to create that visual indication that you're on a selected tab without having all of these tabs change states each time. So only one of these can be actively selected, and then we'd have that content down below. And that's the toggle effect we want for our tabs using the button sets. So click Close Preview.